Hello, Dr. Lavos. Thank you so much for uh, for joining me this morning. Um, we've heard yesterday the government changed the recommendation for people who got AstraZeneca as their first shot to get um, an, an mRNA vaccine as their second dose. Um, so could you maybe explain to us why that is? Why did they change their recommendation? Well, there's actually a couple of reasons that are going into this. One of them is practical. We're simply getting more Pfizer doses than we are of other vaccines. And so for people who got their first dose of AstraZeneca, let's say, who have now, now it's the time for their second dose, simply by virtue of the fact that there's less AstraZeneca available, if you wanted to wait for an AstraZeneca dose, that would actually lead to some sort of delay. So if the options are between delaying the second dose or getting a, a dose from a different vaccine maker, uh, the obvious choice is to get a dose from a different vaccine maker so we don't unnecessarily delay vaccinations. The other element to this, though, is that there is a scientific argument to be made, too. There has been some research, and we're expecting more to come out soon, but suggesting that this mix and match vaccine strategies are getting different doses as your first and second dose or different, uh, getting your two doses from different manufacturers is not just safe. There doesn't, don't appear to be any major side effects to this strategy. And there's also a potential benefit. There has been some suggestion from some preliminary data suggesting that when you get two doses from different manufacturers with different mechanisms of action, you might have a more robust immune response. That's still a, a little bit preliminary, uh, but it suggests that there might be an advantage as well. So for those reasons, the government has announced this new policy, which in reality is really just in continuation of what they've been doing for some time now. For some time, people who got AstraZeneca as a first dose have been getting either Pfizer or Moderna as a second dose. And in terms of the side effects, we've been hearing a lot that, you know, if you mix and match the vaccines, basically, um, there's going to be probably more side effects after getting the vaccine. What can people expect? So most of the side effects, and these are, this is what we saw with the ComCov study. So these are these sort of the immunogenic side effects or, or how some people refer to them. Basically, you know, fever, muscle aches, stuff like that. So the regular side effects that you get with most vaccines might be slightly more common if your second dose is from a different manufacturer. That suggests that you're actually getting a more robust immune response, which is why people are sort of recommending or saying that this is a potentially beneficial strategy. But these side effects are, for the most part, mild. They go away after a few days. So it's not something that should be of concern to, to most people. And you also mentioned previously that it could lead to, it could be a benefit to have the first dose of AstraZeneca and the second dose of Moderna or Pfizer, for example. So why is that? What, what, um, what components of each vaccine works in different ways? So because Pfizer, Moderna, the mRNA vaccines are different than the AstraZeneca vaccine, they have a different mechanism of action. The theory is that you're stimulating the you're stimulating slightly different immune responses, and so you're having a more broad range immune reaction. Um, that's possibly true. It's still a little bit speculative, but there are there is some data suggesting that that indeed is the case that you're going to have a better immune response if you have different vaccines with different mechanisms of action. So. We'll see. We are expecting more studies to come out. We are expecting some much larger studies to come out of the UK in the next little while. So we'll have confirmation if that is indeed the case. But we can be relatively confident that it's not worse. So getting a different second dose is not going to make things worse. It's either the same or potentially better. And if it is better, that's going to be very interesting going forward because while we have a good deal of people vaccinated here in Montreal, we have to remember that most people on the planet have not been vaccinated yet. So improving vaccination efficacy is going to be important for the worldwide vaccine effort, which is yet to come. And what happens if someone decides, someone who got AstraZeneca decides to get AstraZeneca again? Are there any negative effects to that? Is it still as good? Is it still as efficient? Maybe uh, some people are worried about that. I don't think it's going to be a major problem. The AstraZeneca vaccine does work. We have been using it and it has proven itself to be efficacious. So it might make a, you know, a, a homologous versus a heterolo heterologous strategy, meaning getting the same dose or different doses, 
might have an effect for the population. So we might see some advantages there. But for you as an individual, if your second dose was AstraZeneca, the same as your first, it's unlikely to have a major impact on you. It does still work. You are still immune, so you can be confident in that. We'll see long term if there are any differences, but in the short and medium term, it's not something that I would actively worry about.